is not gonna go well. Oh my, we're modern, it's gonna be pretty dangerous. Oh my, here we go. Oh no, no, no! No! <laughs> this is my so, life. So? And we're gonna add another child to the mix. So? What? <laughs> So, some of you might know and some of you might not know, but I actually went to school for four years to get a degree in photography, which might seem weird since I'm now running a jewelry business. Am I using my degree, you ask? Maybe you're not asking? That's okay. But I have reasons as to why my photo degree actually helped me start my jewelry business. <laughs> as weird as that might sound. So, bachelor's in photography specifically product photography. And what do I get to do now? I get to photograph my own product. It's like a dream come true. Bye. I did work for a boutique and another company shooting product for them and it just didn't work out. And then we had a baby. And then I needed to do something from home. Honestly, I like working for myself way better. But basically, I could have acted like my degree was a lost cause. It honestly prepped me for yeah running my own business and not having to hire a bunch of people to help me do that. So obviously one of the big key things is yes, I can photograph my own product and I don't need somebody else to do it. Ding ding ding! Plus honestly, I like photographing product better than people. <gasps> Put it down! No! No! Don't touch! It's okay. Mommy has to pick it up. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's, oh, it's okay that it's broken, honey. It's okay. It was an accident, okay? <coughs> I just didn't want you to get hurt. Breathe. That's better, huh? I'm broken. It's, uh, I know it's broken, but it's okay. Yeah. All right. I think we're back. Next thing is that I got to learn branding. Yeah, I got to figure out how to make a brand for myself. And color schemes and consistency and having everything look good and clean and polished. Obviously, getting a photography degree means going to an art school, which means learning composition and aesthetics, which factor into making the jewelry itself along with photographing it and layout and design and all those fun and fancy things. But yeah, I think it really helps with like the actual creation portion of my jewelry. Obviously, I did not learn how to make jewelry in school. That was never a thing I learned. That was just me experimenting and liking different um, creative outlets, mediums. There we go. I have no words. Obviously, something we talk about in a school where you learn photography and art is how to run your own business. I always dreamed that I was going to work for a big company, but that, that didn't happen at all. I may have to just do a video one day of just how my life went, how I ended up here with you and this thing in my belly and a husband and a house and pets, cause that's weird. Honestly did not see myself here at, how old am I? Did not see myself Mama. here with this kind of life Mama. at 26. Yeah. Why are you, you're rocking me. How are you rocking me? <laughs> You're so silly. Oh, this is not comfortable. <laughs> and lastly, I was taught how to build my own website. And I'm talking straight from the code. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. But yeah, so setting up my own shop, building my own shop. So yeah, building my own uh, website was something that was not daunting, I was not scared of doing. That's something that I was not a fan of at the time, but I am so glad I learned that. Yeah, that's it, that's it, I'm throwing you away. I'm throwing you away, I can't do it anymore. This has been a wild ride of a video, I did not see it going this way, but guess what? That's life. <laughs> I can't. Say, see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, let's go pick up this broken mirror.
just never know what's going to happen when you're recording a video.